Madison Square Garden lit up in the Lakers uniform colors purple and gold to honor Kobe Bryant Bryant and his 13 year old daughter Gianna and seven others were killed in a helicopter crash this morning in Calabasas California reportedly on their way to Gianna's travel basketball game Bryant was 41 and one of the greatest players in the history of the NBA it is Trey heels off the warm up in honor of his dearly departed friend Kobe Bryant. He will start the game wearing uniform number eight. Wow. Wow. That's a great representation of Kobe Bryant. That's paying homage. Way to go, Trey. Rockets players were um, devastated. Austin Rivers, uh, eyes uh, uh, welling up there. Tyson Chandler played with Kobe. He's been like that for about the last hour. Yep. Well, today is the saddest day in my basketball career. There's no doubt about it. And we're talking about a physical force as a teenager that came into this league with a passion for the game, seldom seen. He never took a backseat to anyone in work ethic. Name the greatest two-way players in the history of this game. He's right at the top of the list. The love that's being expressed in this building and around the world was due. They have decided that whoever wins the tip, and in this case Toronto, they are going to let the shot clock run out because of the number 24 to honor Kobe Bryant. Fitting. Appropriate. Is Fred Van Vliet holding on to it and the crowd recognizing what this means. Sean, how did these guys play? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, it would be tough for me in this situation. We've been told the NBA is planning or has canceled some of the games this evening. And DeJounte Murray will do the same. A 24-second shot clock, of course, Kobe Bryant. Number 24. Fans recognize that through chanting Kobe. And now the game will actually begin. On this unbelievably sad day for the NBA, and Clyde, on my, on my way into the arena, I thought of Bill Gallo. Gallo is the uh, legendary sports cartoonist that uh, when Thurman Munson passed away, the next day he had an unbelievably touching cartoon. And it was his two characters that he had, Basement Bertha and Yucky. And the cartoon read Basement Bertha saying, no, Yucky, I just don't feel like playing ball today. And she was crying. And that's the way I think a lot of us feel here tonight. Just don't feel like broadcasting. I know a lot of the players, <clears throat> excuse me, don't feel like playing. It's just a sad, sad day. Yeah, you're right, Mike. Like I said, it was like a shot, man, to you. So the players. A lot of these players don't know Michael uh, or Jordan as much as they know Kobe, so they idolize him. And now we're going to give a standing ovation. And what the players are doing, this happened in the game earlier, on the first possession for each team, they're going to take a 24 second violation in honor of number 24, Kobe Bryant. The Spurs and the Raptors did it earlier today. And whoever won the tip would do it first, and now the Knicks will do the same gesture in tribute. Barely getting over the commissioner, now Kobe. And you know what, Clyde, we all deal with, with death. But today, for basketball fans, Kobe represented the sport that we all love so much, like very few others have. In tribute to Kobe Bryant, as we've seen in San Antonio earlier tonight, these teams, respectively, will take a 24 second violation. And New Orleans, the microphone is yours. And that was a 24 
second shot clock violation. Celtics to reciprocate. It, but if there was ever a, a guy that had the mindset of the show must go on, it was certainly Kobe Bryant. Clippers win the tap. They'll have the ball to open up the fourth quarter as well. And you're seeing this here. You know, a great move here. Across the league, teams have been taking a shot clock violation. 24 seconds. Represents the number 24 for Kobe Bryant. That is absolutely incredible. And then you see it with the Spurs and Raptors as well. And in honor of number eight, Kobe Bryant, an eight-second violation. Neither locker room was available to the media prior to tonight's game, and neither team came out and went through their normal kind of individual routines, EJ, and it wasn't until about 10 minutes before the lights went down for the national anthem that the teams came out on the floor and went through a brief warm-up. So players like the rest of us trying to process this is... This will be a moment that both teams will take part in to honor Kobe Bryant as they will take the 24 set shot clock violation. And what a great honor. Uh, Kobe had such an impact on this game. Ricky Rubio is going to take an eight-second violation to represent number eight that Kobe wore early in his career. Uh, this is just a true testament of how tremendous Kobe was as a player, but also the impact that he had on these guys out here on the floor. And uh, we're going to see both teams do what we've seen all day long here, Quinn. A 24-second shot clock violation in honor of Kobe Bryant. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty good. I mean, all of the league is he's basically done a 24-second violation. As many of you know, that was his number. Some have done the eight-second violation to get it across half court because that was his number. But in great appreciation for Kobe Bryant and all he did for the league and, and, and everybody in the NBA. And, Quinn, you made your comments. I'm looking here at Carmelo Anthony, who was his teammate and look friend at, on USA Basketball. He, he, you look at him, he's having a hard time. And now it's an eight-second violation that the Pacers take. The two numbers that Kobe Bryant wore, 24 and 8, and there's yeah, Carmelo. And I'm looking at Carmelo. He's having a hard time. As am I. Yeah. And now Trey is going to hang out of the basketball. And in honor of number eight... He is going to take an eight-second backcourt violation. And now the Wizards, to show their honor and appreciation, Washington is going to inbound the basketball, and they will take a 24-second violation. So the two numbers that Kobe Bryant wore in his career, number eight and number 24, being honored. It has been a tough day for everybody.